Perfect shot. All right, jungle is back. Got the brand new Storm Summit Peak. We're gonna compare it to the original Summit and then the journey. Reason for the journey, same family of cover stock, TX-16 versus TX-23. I think it'd be a pretty good comparison to see the difference in reaction. Got 40 foot mercury here, break point like eight, nine, 10. So we're gonna get lined up with the original summit and go from there. Standing on 24, maybe like 15 out the nine. In my eyes, the original Summit is a pretty early rolling ball for a big symmetric. It doesn't quite get down the lane as easy as some of the other symmetric balls. So, so for me, I like to play a little further right with the Summit, use the ball's strength of it rolling early, really smooth, and then on the fresh as well, right? And then get into my other stuff as I move left. We'll do the face there. Let's make a small adjustment, try and strike. All right, pretty close with that one. Let's go one board back to the right, and I think we're gonna be lined up, and then we can try the peak. As you can see, this is really fresh mercury, 40 feet. Someone just really wants to get in a roll really early, and just kind of gradually hook to the pocket. So I think that's amazing for one of your first balls out of your bag, and controlling that over under. All right, lost my balance a little, but perfect shot. Now that we're lined up, let's throw the summit peak. Obviously, it's a pearl, it's shiny. It's gonna go a little further down lane, have a little bit more pop, but we're just gonna see exactly how it compares. All right, it's got the same layout, 60 by four by 30. So a pretty strong pin position, and that's just gonna allow me to play straight or even better. It gets through the front easier for sure, just because of the surface and the surface prep. And I did miss a little right there, came back, Swisher seven, so, so far so good. Yeah, exact same shot as the Summit there. Definitely comes off the spot a little bit harder, almost at the nine pin. Overall boards covered, very, very close. All right, let's go two to the left, since I almost left the nine pin there. Two and one, should be perfect. All right, pretty good shot there. Just a little lazy down lane. And I think that's pretty consistent with the cores of the summer. This ball really doesn't have much pop. That's why I like playing a little straighter with it on more difficult patterns, a little more oil, right? The ball gets started up and then doesn't really turn the corner that hard down lane, which is great for the fresh. I think the summit peak is like a really good ball right after the summit on pretty fresh conditions. Moving a couple left with the summit peak. It was a little lazy down lane. I think this is gonna be the perfect spot for the journey. much more of that journey rounds the corner than the summit peak. And that's just the ball. That's just the design of the ball, the core, the cover. So I think when you're moving left, you gotta get out of the summits, get into something like the journeys. Let's do that little experiment again, just to be sure. Let's go one more to the left. Not a bad shot there with the summit peak. As you can see, it gets to the spot and it just doesn't quite turn the corner as hard as the journey. It just kind of flattens out, and there's always a good time and place for these kind of balls, you know? When the lanes are tough, they get cliffed. Cliffed meaning the outside is extremely dry, the inside is extremely oily. You don't have much room for error. These kind of balls are gonna be good for those kind of conditions. All right, back to the journey. Again, same family of cover stock, and you can just see how much more this ball rounds the corner. Yeah, a little bit too far left for these balls now, but you can really see that reaction of the journey versus the summit peak. Just more back end pop from the journey. Again, symmetrical pearl, symmetrical pearl, but two totally different reactions. About halfway through the vid here with Jungo, got a question for you for down in the comments. Most of these balls coming out now have three colors. So we got black, gold, and teal here on the summit peak. So my question for you is, if you were to design a ball, what three colors would you use? For me, I'm going off the board. I'm going black, black, and black with black lettering, and a black pin, and a black CG, with black grips, and a black slug. You ain't gonna see anything. <laughs> All right, let me know down in the comments below. All right, let's go back to the right. Let's play the strengths of these balls, straighter down the lane, uh, not so much back end, more control. Try and go like 13 to 10 here and just roll it up the back. Perfect. Straighter is greater with these summits. 
You really want to get that ball into a roll, which it does already on its own. So you want to play to the strength of the ball. And I think that is straighter for these. When I roll it up the back, keep my angles closed, like 13 to 10. These balls are unbeatable. Throw the solid there on the same line. Should pick up earlier. Go through the pins a little flat. Yeah, you can see that. Start rolling, change the direction pretty early. And that's how you get that control, that mid lane control. And left a kind of a flat 10 there where the summit peak drove through the nine. So really good one-two punch, playing a little straighter. Yeah, I think those are definitely the strengths of these balls. We're gonna throw a few more shots with the summits, playing a little straighter, rolling it up the back. That's definitely what I think these balls are made for. If you get one and you can't curve the whole lane, don't worry about it, that's not what it's made for. Yeah, absolutely perfect. That's what I love that ball for. Medium, medium short patterns. We gotta get that ball into a roll early. This summit. That is definitely the strength of these balls. They just wanna get in a roll and tumble. Go forward. So you gotta play further right. Especially on the fresh, medium patterns that are pretty flat, pretty difficult. You know, this is, this is gonna be my go-to ball, as well as the IQ Tour 78U. All right, let's throw one more good one. Do the recap. Woo, baby. Recap, recap time. All right, we're back from bowling. Back throwing the two summits and the journey here on Mercury, 40 feet. Really fresh pattern, just oiled. Didn't warm up on it at all. And the strengths of the summits are to play straighter. That's my belief after throwing these balls for a few weeks or a, a month. The straighter I play with it, the more I roll it up the back, the easier that ball rolls, the easier it hooks, and the easier it is to control, honestly. But if I'm playing too far left with the summits, you know, sometimes it, it really grabs lane early and hooks through the face, and sometimes it misses the spot, gets a little bit too far right, comes in behind the head pin. So once I squared up my angles, played a little straighter, started rolling the ball, those summits are deadly. Now comparing the original summit here to the summit peak, uh, this one is just obviously a little bit further down lane, a little bit more sharper, same core, pearlized cover stock, exact same layout. Uh, but then I compared this one to the Journey. Same family of cover stock. We got TX23 on the summit peak here, and we got TX16 on the Journey. Just the way the Journey's built, the core, the cover, just gets down lane a little bit easier. It definitely has more shape coming off the end of the pattern where the summit and the summit peak here are definitely flatter and more controllable on the fresh. On patterns where I would use these summits, it would be shorter and medium patterns that are a little bit more difficult. So Mercury is a challenge shot and that is perfect for balls like the summit. You know, you gotta stay right, you gotta keep your angles in front of you, you gotta roll it, right? You can't be playing too steep of angles through the front, it's just not gonna work. So that's what these balls are built for and they work great. If you're a bowler that likes playing pretty straight or if you have trouble playing straight, trouble finding a ball to play straight, I would suggest getting a summit or a summit peak, you know, if you wanted to roll a little earlier, a little later of which summit you get and you won't be disappointed. This ball is great, really controls the mid lane very well. That about wraps it up here for the summit. Don't forget my question down below. If you were to make a ball with three colors, what three colors would they be? Let me know down in the comments and don't be afraid to go wild. And if you want some JR Pro Shop merch, I got a nice pink shirt on here. We got jrproshop.threadless.com. They got all the colors, all the sizes, and we have a bunch of designs up there for you to pick from. See you in the next bit.